You know, the number one question we always get asked uh, at the Canadian Tube Fly Company is how you stop your tube fly from spinning when you tie. And that's a great question because it's very frustrating. With our vice adapters, the economic ones we sell, and these are the ones we tell everybody to go for. There is more expensive ones uh, from Humor and Snowbees, um, other ones as well. But this is the one, it, you know, it's reasonably priced. And it comes with three different, three different mandrels. Okay? You can see they're slightly different, slightly different uh, gauges on them. So biggest, and then medium, and then smallest. First thing you want to do is you want to line up your tube with the mandrel that's going to fit it the best. So this is a Scandinavian, large Scandinavian plastic tube. It's got a pretty big hole on it. So you're going to go with your biggest mandrel, which is this one here. Okay, go with that one. It's the thickest. It just makes natural sense to, if it has a big hole, use the big mandrel. So we're going to put the tube through the mandrel. Now, when we place it into the vice adapter, if I just cinch it up the way it is, you're going to have spinning. I guarantee it. When you add your thread, it might all look fine and dandy. But with a second you let go of that tube and pull any tension, it's just going to whip right through and spin off. Now, I know myself, when I started with tubes about a dozen years ago, this was the number one problem. And it still is the number one problem of all, all beginner tube tires. If that thing spins, you will be incredibly frustrated. So, with this setup, with the economic vice adapter. I'm just going to loosen it up and pull it out. Now the way to get around this, most of the time this works, not always, but most of the time it does. You've got your vice adapter, you've got your tube, and your mandrel. Now I always go in with my forefinger, and I press, and as I press, I tighten the knob. So if you just tighten the knob, you're going to get what we just saw. If you go in and press, and tighten at the same time. What it does is it slightly, I don't know if you can see this or not, it slightly bends the tube. You can almost see a little bend to it. Just put pressure on both ends, just from pushing it in with your finger as you tighten, you get that tension. And you can always tell by just a slight arc of the tube. Now when you tie it on, that tube will not spin. Hey, and that's what you want. The moment that tube spins, you're going to go crazy. And the next question we usually get for spinning tubes, after you've kind of mastered plastic tubing, a lot of tires want to go into metal tubing or hybrid tubing or things like that. Uh, we've got a, an aluminum tube here, a large diameter aluminum, and all, all the packs that we sell come with the liner tube. In this case, because it's a large diameter aluminum tubing, comes with a regular plastic tubing okay? and we don't line it for you it comes separate what you have to do of course we've shown this a few times you need to leave one or two millimeters on the outside and melt that end okay, so it's melted and then you want to go and melt the other end And again, cut it one or two millimeters, and we'll melt that too. You want to melt it right to the edge of the metal, so that you know it's a nice tight fit. Now there are tube tires out there that will go and glue, put glue on before they melt the edges, and that's fine. Uh, it's one approach to it. We don't do that. Uh, now that we've got both edges melted, See, there's a nice ridge on both sides. Now, naturally, this metal tube will still spin on that plastic tube, which isn't a big deal. When you use your vice adapter, again, you want to choose a mandrel that's that's close to the diameter of your tube. And you still, this plastic diameter tubing is still quite thick, so we'll use the biggest mandrel and poke it through. 
And because you melted it, it's a little bit tighter than it normally would be, which is good. You want tight. Uh, we'll put it into our vice adapter. And just like with the plastic, if you just plunk it in and turn the knob, you will have a spinning tube. What you want to do, just like before, loosen it up. Your next finger goes on the top. You push hard as you tighten. And you end up with a tube that will stay secure in your vise or on your vise adapter, and it will not give you that that I want to quit tying tubes feeling that can come over people when the tube is is uh, spinning. Okay, so it's nice and secure in there now. So even you've got a metal outside, plastic inside, that would naturally spin on each other. And then you've got on the mandrel that we can also spin on top of that. If you put the pressure on the outside and really cram it back as you turn, you should have no problems. Okay, now the, the other way to go besides a vice adapter, and, and I still like the vice adapter sometimes. I, I probably tied my first 10,000 tubes on a vice adapter until uh until i realized that pins pins are sometimes the way to go uh especially once you get really experienced in your in your movements with your with your tube tying uh they're a lot quicker to work with especially if you're production tying uh you know tying 10 dozen of sunfly uh so we'll just take this out of our clamp or out of our vise now i take